just so we know that most of your time will be spent on issues that affect Decatur as a whole. Uh, this election is for a seat that's specifically District 1. Uh, so we wanted to ask you a, a simple question of what do you feel are priorities or issues that are directly affect this issue in the north side of town, or your district in the north side of town. Uh, just to give you some examples of things we heard from folks. One thing that we heard over and over was that the neighborhoods on the north side <coughs> don't seem to have the same connectivity and communication as neighborhoods on the south side, versus Oak Harris and Winona Park and the Mac. Uh, and both with both between them different neighborhoods and even within the different neighborhoods. One, one specific project that we've heard from a few people uh, were, was a proposed trail to go from Westchester to downtown to sort of connect some of the neighborhoods that are disjointed. <coughs> With this in mind, uh, I'm going to throw it out there to you. What do you see as the specific issues facing District 1? Uh, and what would you propose to do to what, what kind of programs would you implement to you, Rick? <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I'm pretty um, familiar with uh, District One after living here for um, for ten years. And you know, I think <clears throat> it's it's another one of the things that I really like to focus on. It's kind of dear to my heart. I cycle a lot, and I walk around the city a lot. And um, it's you know the biggest issue, one of the big issues I think, in the, is the Scott the connectivity in a lot of neighborhoods, say for instance like Westchester. Um, since the closing of the school in Westchester, um, that area of the city was kind of closed off to the rest of the city. They didn't have a good way to get across Scott Boulevard. And I think a lot of, um, of the areas too on the north side, say for instance the neighborhood I'm in is kind of behind Taqueria del Sol and that neighborhood. Um, we probably don't have as many parks as we should. I feel like the Cater Cemetery is amazing. It's a giant green space, but I would like to see some more kind of diverse, smaller parks in the neighborhoods. Like in this neighborhood here, I mean, I think this neighborhood could certainly use that type of thing. And I would like to see um, a lot more connectivity in these neighborhoods, and it's something that's talked about in the, the uh, strategic plan about establishing kind of a circulator shuttle type of idea where connecting neighborhoods, um, and it really would be great for the north side and for the south side to have things like you know, say for instance in this neighborhood, there was a shuttle that circulated around the, these neighborhoods, stopped at this church here, went downtown, um, stopped at Westchester School, and I think it would increase the connectivity of all the neighborhoods and allow everybody to feel like they were more connected to the rest of the community. Um, and I feel like the same type of thing could be used even to the south side, to your point. I mean, I feel like the south side and the north side don't interact as much as they should. I have friends that kind of live on the south side of Decatur, but I don't know a lot of people. And I've got to know a lot of people from my daughter who went to the 45 school, the unified school. But I feel like that that's kind of an issue too. And I'd like to see the connectivity between the different parts of the city become much, much greater and have the city feel like it's more of a whole together. And I, think, I think transportation is a big part of that. And I think community spaces are a big part of that too. And that's why I'd like to focus kind of on the transportation issues and also focus on you know, meeting and gathering spaces for people like parks. So some of your points about the neighborhoods and the communication, I mean, I, you know, I, I've lived in a couple of different neighborhoods around here and, and have seen great communication um, and some of them have, you know, ebb and flow with different people that are running the thing, but, um, but hopefully that will get better and, and obviously um, we hope it does. You know, one of the issues that I see that, that that's a major issue, and it's not one that we, we like to talk about, but it's something we've got to talk about, is crime. Crime in downtown Decatur, crime in these neighborhoods, it's on an uptick. Um, I was a victim of, of, a, of a car break-in back in September. Briefcase was stolen. There were two people robbed at gunpoint over the past few weeks over by CVS back in my old neighborhood, sort of behind Taqueria in that area. Uh, numerous car break-ins, numerous uh, house thefts. Uh, a friend of mine over here who backs up to Glen Lake Park. Again, Glen Lake Park, great amenity. I've been going here since I was one. Uh, it's beautiful, beautiful reconstruction down there with everything they rehab with. But that's one of the concerns with those citizens that live there. Is easy access to the back of their houses through the park. His back door was kicked in, and luckily there aren't at all. 
We've got a crime problem. I mean, I think we do. If you look at the stats, you look at crimereports.com, it's a website that aggregates all the crime in the area. Go to it. They'll email you alert every day. Um, we've got to come up with a way to, to combat that. The police are great. Uh, Deputy Chief Lee, Chief Booker, I've worked with them a lot. The, the, the person that, that broke into my car, they called within three days. We didn't have my briefcase after the three days. <laughs> that was irrelevant. Um, but we call it, and that's a deterrent. But we've got to help the police. You know, I've called the non-emergency police line probably ten times. My wife kind of makes fun of me sometimes. She's, she says I'm always out there looking for things. But I'm trying to protect downtown. I'm trying to protect our neighborhood. So I think crime's a big issue. When I grew up here, I remember we had neighbor, neighborhood watch groups. That might be something we need to look at. More police might be something to look at. Undercover cops in downtown Decatur. All those ideas, they all take money. They take our time. We've got to look at those things. That's an issue in our neighborhoods. It's an issue in downtown. It's an issue all around Decatur. So I don't want to see all the positive things that we've done and have had done in, in, in our community and worked hard for get hit by that. And so, you know, as we see these armed robberies and things like that, I think it's really kind of bringing a light bulb to our head, and I think we've got to address that. That's a big issue. All right, thank you. Uh, we've got two more topics. This is the fifth one, and Jeff will have one more, and then we'll go uh, meet and greet and eat. So um, this one is, is uh, again, focused specifically on those uh, guiding principles from the strategic plan. One of them says that the city of Decatur will serve as a good steward of the environment. How does a city, specifically Decatur, serve as a good steward of the environment? Pretty open-ended question, but I uh, would like to kind of dive in. What, is that, what does that mean, to be a good steward, steward of the environment as a city? Scott? Well, I mean, I think, I, I think that, 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 that we need to think about those things. We have a sustainability board. They bring great ideas to us. Um, we need to look at, we implemented, I mean, when I first lived here on Sycamore, was when the whole yellow bag, blue bag recycling. I mean, that was way before DeKalb County, way before any of these other towns did it. And when you drive around now, you see every house has their recycling bins. And I mean, it was, it was very, very heavily adopted. Um, what I don't see, and what I know from, from, from reviewing some of the sustainability issues, um, we don't see that maybe in the restaurants or in the businesses downtown. Um, I know at, 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 the, at the gas station up there, I mean, we recycle all of our oil, some of buys it. It's, it's a, actually a revenue stream for us. Uh, but the restaurants, I think the city can help institute those things. It's not easy sometimes for a restaurant to do that or they've got so many other things going on. But as good stewards of the community, we need those businesses to do that. Uh, we need to get people out of their cars. <clears throat> we need to get people walking. We need to get people riding. We need to have developments that have less parking but more emphasis on walking. Um, the environment in, in, a, in, a, in an area like this, the stormwater ordinance, I think, did a great job for downtown. When people build new residences, they have to do some certain things on their on their property for stormwater, but I don't think that alleviates the problem because it just puts clean water out into the street and then it gets dirty again, it goes into a creek. Um, maybe we should get closer to the creek on those things. But there's a lot of issues like that that, that we need to be aware of. And that, you know, this, can the city mandate those things? You know, to some degree, yes. And we should mandate the ones we can. But I think a community like ours, if the city just pushes an idea and puts some, put some effort behind it, put some ideas behind it, Maybe put a little money behind it, maybe put a little help behind it. You'll see the adoption rate very much, very much go up. The Energy Wise program I thought was great. Um, there's a lot of <coughs> ideas like that that we need to, we need to bring forth. And, and I think Decatur can, can kind of get the word out on that. The citizens have to take, or the restaurant owners, the business owners, have to take a little bit of the initiative as well. Great, great. And just to speak to Scott, I think he's exactly right about the uh, commercial businesses. I think that um, there is a lot of room for improvement as far as the environmental impact of the um, commercial businesses in downtown Decatur. And the city does have a commercial program where they're trying to start focusing on that. Um, and I feel like another thing you know, we should do is start a farmer's market. I mean, that's a really good idea. And so, <laughs> um, and so uh, I'm on the sustainability board for the city, and this is something we've been focusing on for probably four years from now. Um, we have a, a sustainability plan that Scott referenced that we looked at every aspect of resource use for the entire city. We um, looked at the air, land, water, energy use, it's everything. And we've got plans for all of that, and it's all in the sustainability plan. And just kind of a few highlights along the way, we have, um, there's a, a, a tree ordinance that we're gonna be interested in putting out to the city and getting a lot of feedback related to that. There's a new 
use stormwater ordinance, we're going to be doing the exact same thing with that. Um, there's um, currently we're um, the city is undergoing a unified development ordinance um, rewrite of all the ordinances in the city related to building, and um, there's a really big project. And basically, that's going to look at how we want to address the built environment in, in the future for the city. And as you, you know, I mentioned before, I, I think we need some ordinances related to um, green building and energy use for that. I think we need some things potentially for the residential property also. And I think there's a lot of things that were in the strategic plan that the citizens asked for that we would really should focus on related to all of those areas. And there are, uh, there's, it's a lot of work ahead of us. And I feel like that the strategic plan that the group I was involved in developed and developed is really kind of an integral part of that. I think as, as we should pretty much a lot of the recommendations that we have in the plan related to those things, some of them we get very specific and some of them are substantially broader. Um, there's things like commercial composting um, and there's things like composting for all the residences too. And we want to develop a program like Scott referenced the, um, the program related to the page and throwback. But we want to kind of kick that up a little bit and we want to make sure that um, all the compost that everybody is using in the city and related to the restaurants and stuff. That's all gathered by trucks and composted properly. So it's um, it's a very um, it's a large uh, thing, and we have a plan for it. And I just like y'all, I would encourage everybody to take a look at the same building.